Hi, my name is Faith Jalbert, and here's my testimony. So all my life, I have been brought up in church. I've been a Christian ever since, shoo, like ever since I was super little, maybe two years old, I knew who Jesus was and I was actually pursuing him at a young age. But there came a time where my life just got really difficult. Um, I was being told a lot of things by a lot of people that one, I was too young to know about and two, that it wasn't my business and it, caused a lot of strained relationships between me and my family members and it made me honestly dislike God. So because I because I knew who God was at such a young age, I knew that there was a God. I'd never not believed in him. That was double negative, but I hope you understand what I mean. I ne like I never I always recognized him. I just honestly I disliked him so much. I did not like him at all. Um, I was told a lot of things that about myself that was not true. I was told a lot of things about my family members that was not true. And if they were true, guess what? It wasn't my business. Um, I had a lot, a lot of family members that I looked up to, a lot of family members who I was close to that passed away. And since I knew there was a divine creator, I, bl I placed all this blame on him. Instead of leaning on him to go through these circumstances, I was just like, oh, wow, you did this to me. You know, like you hurt me in these ways. It's all your fault. So for a Oh, like a good three years, three to four years, I did not like God at all. I disliked him very much. I knew I knew it was a divine creator, like I said before, but my relationship with him was basically, you know what, I don't mess with you, you don't mess with me, basically. And honestly, whenever I was living that life far from God, it came off as, you know, super great. I was super popular. I, um, I had a lot of friends. I was like, you know, like I was super, just like, it came off so great to everyone around me. But on the inside, I was broken. I was, I was crying almost every night about everything. I was so just sad. My anxiety levels rose through the roof. Um, and at times I did go into a pit of depression. My room was not clean. I did not want to shower. I became very distant and um, agitated toward the people around me, which honestly did not deserve it at all. It was just me dealing with my own mental issues. So finally, my grandfather passes away and I've been close to every other family member before, but my grandfather, he was, I like words can't describe him. He was just a father figure my best friend like he was just everything i could just oh my gosh he was so great he he always told me to he just he was so great he passed away it's gonna be three years in april but whenever he passed away like that was basically like the final straw i completely lost it after that um Oh my gosh, I became incredibly distant from everyone. I did not care. Like I was just, I went into a pit of depression. I was crying every single day. I was so upset. I hated, like I hated being here. I hated life. And it was like that for a good while, honestly, it was a good couple months. Thankfully, I had a good support system. I had great friends back then who you know like sure like i i know i was aggravating i know it was irritating dealing with me but guess what they stuck through it you know they did everything they could to be by my side and i'll be forever grateful for that support group even though we may not be as close as we used to be man like th those people did oh my gosh i got so much love for them but anyway it came to a point where i realized okay i can't do this by myself i am so upset i'm very hardened by life and my heart is broken i i need help and i turned to god i was actually so at my church i go to cross church in gray um i didn't like dive which is the youth group i didn't like dive just because like honestly i was an active christian and i felt out of place there almost because i didn't make any effort to pursue friendships there but they had a small group before dive called freedom and oh my gosh, if you go to Cross Church, or even if you don't go to Cross Church, this small group is everything. So freedom is basically just what it's freedom. It's freedom from any burden, any baggage you may have. It really, it's really just a weight off your shoulders. 
And going through that small group made me become a Christian. That small group and also um, our children's ministry at Cross Church is called Cross Kids. And honestly, I started working in Cross Kids Scout service, but I learned so much from doing Cross Kids than I'm pretty sure the kids did. Like just seeing the faith these kids had that I didn't even have, or just seeing how, like it was just amazing, like how these little six year olds were a better Christian than me. Like it was honestly very, it was very humbling. And man, those kids, those kids are the sweetest, funniest kids you will ever meet. They're so nice. So like for my salvation, I honestly, you know, thank God for bringing me out that dark place. But that small group freedom and cross kids, like that did wonders. But back to freedom. I was going through freedom conference and it was dealing, it talked about anger and it talked about depression, anxiety. And talk about it just like it talks about so much more than that too. I'm not gonna get into all of it. But oh my gosh, like it was just so eye-opening and oh my gosh, like words can't explain explain it. So for a couple weeks we went to like we met up as a small group and we talked about it and we read our Bible and we did some things outside of the small group and then had a conference. And at that conference, I could confidently say that's whenever I became a Christian, right then and there. It was a weekend conference, but so they had for every t like sub subject you talked about in your freedom group at that conference they had a certain preacher who talked about it a certain preacher who like had a life story to go with it and oh my gosh then i tried to wear makeup but mascara was running down my face i had oh my gosh lipstick everywhere like i was just broken like i was completely broken beat like what i felt like was beyond repair but at that conference, God really was like set. It felt like he was sitting there right next to me. He was like, no faith, let me fix you. And he did. So I've been Christian for, oh my gosh, I don't know. It feels like forever, even though I still make mistakes. I'm not perfect at all. You know, I still struggle with, you know, being fun. Not that being Christian is not fun because being Christian is so much fun, but having worldly fun and being a Christian. Nope, the heart, don't put that in. Don't put that in because that sounds bad, but I'm not trying to say that. I have really fun. Ah, D heart, please. So I've been Christian for about, it feels like forever. Um, I don't know. I've just been Christian. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know, but I've been a Christian for a while and I just, I love it. Like, you know, I have, I'm not saying like I have anxiety, I have depression. I'm not saying that just to say it like self-diagnosed. Like I've actually been diagnosed, I actually have to take medicine for it. And the medicine helps, like do not get me wrong. You know, if I, I definitely see a difference whenever I don't take my medicine versus when I do. But I just, like God just really just fixed my heart, you know. I've had a broken heart before and honestly I turned to other things like going out with my friends and boys and it fixed it for a short while but you know at the end of the day humans aren't perfect and they're gonna hurt you too so my heart just came broken all over again I had to fix that all over again it was an unending cycle but whenever God fi like fixed my broken heart it was fixed completely um I'm so in awe just how God did a big old move in me because there is a diff there's a big difference between the faith I was before I became Christian and the faith after. Before I was so quick to get angry. I was a very jealous person. I still have to work on my jealousy. That jealousy and trust issues that is something that I still need to work on to this day. But man, it was bad back then. I was so easy to get jealous, so easily angered. I was so needy and clingy. Like I felt like like I had a big hole in my heart and I was just trying to fill it with worldly things, which obviously it wasn't working. I mean, God could only feel that need in your heart. I, when I, like guys, when I say my heart was broken, like, oh my gosh, like it felt like, it felt like I was always gonna feel that worthless. And it felt like I, I felt worthless i felt not wanted i felt horrible like I, I just felt like the world would be so much better without me here and actually i remember having these thoughts and i had to stop and be like no faith you can't leave because i have a single father his name is i have 
his name is Quentin. I have a single father and I remember thinking to myself, no, like you're his girl, don't leave. God has really come in and changed my life for the better. I am a happier person now. I have more peace. I still have anxiety and sometimes I may go into, you know, with anxiety and depression, they basically go hand in hand. Um, I've been diagnosed with anxiety and whenever anxiety gets so bad, so anxiety for me feels like I'm drowning. And sometimes that feeling of drowning can get to the point where you will go into a depression. So it really goes hand in hand. But man, like, of course, like sometimes it will happen. I will go into a pit of despair. But man, just God just grows me from it and brings me out of it. And I've just become so much stronger. Like, I, like, I can't even put in words of things God does. He has changed my relationship with my friends, my family, with everyone around me. Like, I'm just... Uh, like, I just love Jesus. I just, I just love Jesus. Um, and actually, my favorite Bible verse is about Jesus. So, it's Jesus and his disciples are on the water. And there's big old, like, storms there. And the disciples are freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Jesus, Jesus. Like, what, why is Jesus not helping us? I thought you were the Messiah. I thought you were God. Like, you're, and you're just letting us die. And Jesus was taking a nap. He was slumped. And when Jesus woke up, and he was like, did you forget who I am? He just got up went to the front boat and said, peace, be still. And the winds and the waves and everything just stopped. And the disciples were taken back and like, oh, wait, how dare we doubt the Messiah? Like, it was just like that, that story just reminds me to, you know, to stop, like stop worrying about this stop thinking about this you need to just stop and put all your focus on god because as long as i'm worried about um the future sports class i mean i should like you know focus on school yes but I'm saying that if i'm like putting all my focus on the negative of school i'm never gonna get better i need to put my focus on god i'm like okay he has this ultimate amazing plan for me don't doubt it keep doing what you know you need to do keep being strong all right, um, I think that's it. Thank you for listening. Um, yes. Oh, there's also, nope. All right, delete all that. All right, and that's my testimony. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all another time.